So that's why it was wrote up then. Because I, because I can't I can't say as to why it was wrote up that way because I didn't I wasn't there I didn't what, take care of the call. So what what would determine you, you get what I'm saying like what, what would be the range. what's what's the name of the uh, commander Commander Bradfield. 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 Okay, appreciate that. That's the way y'all would have worked with the the victim like in terms of asking us what what would we rather. She didn't even do that. The detective didn't do that. That would have been great. So that's and that further allows me, let me know that it was ill intent behind her what she really wanted to charge him with. Because she didn't try to work with me. I'm, I'm actually glad I'm not, you said that. I'm not going to speculate as to right. why it was charged the way it was. Tyrant Terminator! Yo, what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Hey, man, we back. Little officer for diner right there. It didn't look to me like his foot was broke then. Walking pretty good. But anyway, man, we back at the Waukegan Police Department, man. I have, uh, you know if y'all can remember, a few weeks ago, we went down to the state's attorney's office and we had spoke to that investigator dude. Remember the dude that was uh, standing in the lobby with me, telling me where I can't record. I know y'all. I know all of y'all remember this guy. Right. Is there coming in here? That's right. But anything past this is considered private. This is somebody's workspace. Exactly, but it's still public. Uh, it's, and it's, there's no expectation to privacy in public. You should know this. No, and, and I'm trying to tell you that this area is public, and if you can continue to do that, then I have to have you removed. Okay, so okay. you so you're telling me that since I'm at, you're gonna have me removed, you're gonna wage war on my right to film in public. What right. I'm telling you is, and I just got done saying it, so I'll make sure we're clear. Yeah, and I'm, I want to make this, sure you're clear as well, because so I'm not intimidated, area, sir. As you're in this area, that's correct. Right here, right here, right in this vestibule. That's right. So yeah, him, TTA family. Well, basically, he has called me back about the case that we was inquiring about, and. I'll link that entire video in the description. But um, basically, he called me back, let me know. He said, yeah, that, uh, that case was sent over to, like, a uh, traffic court or something, right? I don't know. So he ended up getting in contact with the detective that was on the case. And she called me back and told me, yeah, that case has been dropped, sir. Um, it was an ordinance violation. So I went into it with her. I said, an ordinance violation? How could it be an ordinance violation and he battered me? You know, the guy from the child support office, right? So she has wrote up, she had deliberately wrote up fake charges knowing that the judge would drop the case because the charges didn't, and it didn't, and you know, it didn't coincide. So the detective literally, deliberately, intentionally wrote up fake charges Knowing that when this guy going to stand in front of the judge with those fraudulent charges, that the judge would drop it because it didn't add up. Right? It's a battery. What, how did he get a city ordinance violation? So we want to go up in here and uh, get some clarity on that and file a complaint on that detective that deliberately did that. We're going to. So, so <laughs> yeah, we ain't, we, ain't letting that, we ain't letting that go. Definitely. Uh, let's go see. Uh, uh, officer for Dinah, man. I just see you walking in the building perfectly fine. I thought your foot was broke, man. Yeah. Okay. It, it, hey, in any event, uh, I need to speak with a, probably a commander, deputy chief, chief, somebody of, of that nature, uh, caliber rather, because I might need to file a complaint on a detective that uh, filed some fraudulent charges against a young man that battered me for, uh, several months back. Are you trying to talk to the commander CEO regarding... Oh. Assembly of command. There you go. Over, over the detect, over the detective that had the case. You know what detective it was. I, I can't pronounce her last name, but but uh, one I think her name is first name is Sarah. You worked there here before? Yeah. No. Yeah, TTA family. That was Officer Fadina, man. I know y'all remember him. He was he was actually like I said, one of the cops that were there that day at the child support office. You know the one saying we have future charges for you. And he's been sitting at this desk here for months. Uh, he claims that he has a broke foot, but he's work, he's walking perfectly fine on it. So 
Uh, like I said, I think I think they put him on desk duty for those uh, for those uh, for those statements he made that day because we did follow up with Deputy Chief Neal, if you guys can remember. But uh, we we definitely finna get down to the bottom of this with this detective man. That's uh that's disgusting. So we, we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. What what? Whether it's a charge of rent or I should get royalties for all your videos. What? <laughs> Sergeant is aware of your thing and we'll be bringing down paperwork for you shortly. A sergeant? That's the biggest I got here right now. Sergeant. I don't know which one's coming. Well, so one, one's coming for sure, though. All right, I'll hang I'll around. The paperwork now. All right, appreciate it. I'll hang around. I figured you would. <laughs> you know it. You know I ain't going nowhere. Uh, as the officer for Dinah said, uh, so sergeant is going to be bringing down paperwork. Uh, probably a complaint. Definitely a complaint for him. Definitely want to file that. So uh, we'll see once the sergeant come. I'll stay tuned. Okay. Sergeant Foster, I, I, I met with you before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the DMV. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is, I, I, uh, Officer Verdana told me you're the, only, you're the highest authority in the department today. No. Well, I'm one of the sergeants. Huh? So. The highest available is on the road here. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I mean, because basically, um, I had a complaint. I had a, somebody, I, I got battered a few months ago. Okay. Uh, by someone that works at the child support office. Uh, a detective Thank here so took much. the case. Okay. And she wrote yeah. up fraudulent charges in order to, you know, bypass his, uh, him being responsible for what he did. Okay. So uh, um, we need to, we definitely need to fix that because obviously the guy hasn't been officially and formally charged correctly. Okay. He have he wasn't charged with battery at all. He was charged with a city ordinance violation. How did they get city ordinance violation out of battering me? You, you get you what I'm saying? You can charge somebody for battery under city ordinance. How, how is that? Because we have a city ordinance saying that. What what, what so what is that statute? Is it a, is it is, it, it, is it, it a code? It, all, all of our all of our statutes mm -hmm. written under our city ordinance mirror okay. the state statute. It mirrors it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Because okay. uh, that just didn't seem right. It still, it does, still doesn't even sound right. Yeah. If, if if you go on if you go on our city's website, you can look up the the um, ordinances mm -hmm. and all the ordinances we have that are in there and. and just says what it is in there. So you you guys have a city ordinance for battery, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. And and then and then so what's the difference? Put it like that. What's the difference between the city ordinance battery and the state violation of battery? Well, state state violation versus city ordinance is, is normally nobody will go to jail. You, you can't go to jail on a city ordinance. So that's why it was wrote up, man. Because I, because I can't I can't say as to why it was wrote up that way because I didn't I wasn't there I didn't what, take care of the call. So what what would determine? You get what I'm saying? Like, well, what would be the reason to write up? That's what I'm saying. That... So, so, so basically, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to figure out, like, what would be the reason, and the how officer, does how does one? Discretion. So it's officer's discretion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably what that's probably motivated the detective to. Because I mean that's what precisely how it's going to look. It's going to look like she wrote it up to make sure. Because you just explained mm -hmm. that one you can go for and one you can't. Right. So by him being a child support office, a uh, child support uh, supervisor, obviously mm -hmm. he's a state employee. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe she was trying to protect him. I, uh, I I I don't know. I can't I can't speak to that. Okay. So uh, moving but forward. But I do I do have I did bring complaint forms for you if if you want to uh, file a complaint and they can look into it further. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And then and then like I say, um, after I filed a complaint, who who would, would it be a commander? Yeah, professional standards would be Commander Bradfield. You good? Commander Bradfield would look at it. Oh, Commander Bradfield. Yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's our commander in charge of the. Uh, it's called the Office of Professional Standards. Okay. Which is like you know. Uh, does the investigations against complaints? Okay, for, okay. so is it is it anybody in internal affairs that's available to speak with? I doubt he would be able to speak with you right now. Uh, I can call yeah, him. Can I you can see ask him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. sure. I appreciate that. I'll fill this out for sure. All right, TPA family. So you heard the sergeant say that um, they have a city ordinance battery, and then they have a obviously a state statute violation battery. So. Uh, she made sure, like he said, one that you'll go to jail for for sure and one that you won't. So she made sure to charge him with the one where he wouldn't be 
going to jail or any type of harsh penalties. Uh, I think that was uh, disingenuous of her and this department. And uh, we'll see how it go from there. We're going to see if someone from IA come down. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, what's, what's the name of the uh, commander? Commander Brad. Bradfield? Bradfield. Okay, appreciate that. Uh, all right. In the meantime, anything else? No, that'll be it for now. Just see, you know, basically see how this is going to go. Uh, hopefully we can rectify the situation because of that. Uh, for sure. Uh, I ain't feeling yeah, If you have any uh, other questions in the future about, like, uh, like charges, charges right. as far as, like, state charge versus uh, city ordinance violations, right. stuff like that, you can look it up on, online on the city's website. Okay. Uh, it shows uh, code of uh, city ordinances. Right. And it shows everything on there. Okay. But most departments, just about every city that I know of uh, personally, mm -hmm. has city ordinances as well that match the state ordinances, it's just usually, usually it's like you just don't go to jail for it. Oh, okay. like so because I mean, if I if, like if I just walked out here right now and battered somebody walking on the street, I'm not gonna get the city ordinance battery. <laughs> well, we really try to work with the uh, victim and the suspect. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. To see what's acceptable. I don't know what happened in this case. Yeah, no one tried to work with me at all. Um, so uh, you know, we'll see if we can if we can get a city ordinance out of it okay, if it's acceptable so to the so victim. You too. Thank um, you. You know, a lot, sometimes we'll do that. It just depends on, like, a lot of the circumstances of, of what actually occurred at the time. Okay. Um, All right. Appreciate it. Well, he's yeah. he on his way down, right? Yeah, he's on his way down. Okay. Appreciate that. All right. All right. So y'all heard that TTA family. Uh, the sergeant said they're going to be down on their way down. Man, y'all stay tuned. Appreciate you, you know, from IA? I am. Okay. Uh, like I was conveying to uh, Sergeant here, man, that um, some charges had got filed on someone that battered me a few months ago. But to me, it seems like the de de detective that it was assigned to intentionally filed him for so the young man wouldn't get arrested and go to jail. So he, he explained to me you guys have a city ordinance battery and then you have a state statute, obviously, a uh, violation for battery. That's correct. So the detective chose to charge him with the uh, ordinance one. So so knowing that that would, you know, wouldn't send him to jail, wouldn't be no liability on him or anything, I want to be able to uh, basically follow, follow a, a complaint against that because I'm Obviously, that was her intentions because, you know what I mean, I was battered. I don't think, I, I think that's very disgusting for this department to do that. Okay. So I definitely want to f go through with a um, complaint and um, among other things that we need to. Okay. Um, when, what, when did this incident happen? Um, I don't know the precise date, but it was a few, just a few months ago, maybe in the, it was in like May. In May? Yeah, at the child support office out in Waukegan in, in uh, Belvedere Mall. Officer Figueroa was the officer who took the initial uh, uh, do you know, report. Do you know the report number at all, off the top of your head? Uh, let me, uh, y'all stay tuned, TTA family. Let me look Days. this up. I mean, who I filed the report that day, and then the detective was a female detective. I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce her last name, but uh, I think her first name is Sarah. Yeah, I think you said Sarah D. Virgilio. There you go. I guess it's two of those, though, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So it wouldn't be Sarah, then it would be the other one. Angela? There you go. There you go. Because when I first initially talked to her, she said, um, um, yeah, they're going to, um, if they con state's attorneys contact me or something like that, then that means he, was, he wasn't going to plead guilty. But if they didn't contact me, that means he did. So, but I found out that the case was dropped because it was a city ordinance. Yeah, you would have to go to court for it. <laughs> yeah. So did I, you receive notification to go to court at all? Absolutely not. I just think, I, I, I mean, you know, because I, I mean, guaranteed, like that, that old woman right there walking with a cane or anybody else just walking on the street or this young man right here. If I sit up here and, and, and batter this young man right now, I guarantee you guys ain't going to charge me with a city ordinance battery. So why is it, why, why would it be like that for him? Obviously because he's a state employee and she's trying to protect him. Who is the person that uh, battered you? Uh, his name was Enrique and he was the child support supervisor and we say battery what exactly did he do he grabbed my hand grabbed I, like just like what i'm doing now, i was recording okay. and he literally grabbed my hand the hand that was recording to prevent me from exercising my first amendment right that day
I mean, well, are you saying that to say like the like the severity? Maybe that's why she didn't, because it shouldn't matter. I mean, a battery is a battery. Unwanted touch. If there there is a difference in the law, if there's injury or not. Okay. Um, it, well, if it's injury, then it would be aggravated battery. No. So battery could be me punching your face, breaking your nose. Okay. And you have a bloody nose. Right. That could be battery. Okay. It could be aggravated battery too. That's right. But if I hit you and you had like a bruise on your arm. Right. That could be battery, physical uh, injury. Right. But there's also, say I came up to you and poked you right in the chest. That's battery as well. That's battery as well. Okay. Did you have any injuries from him grabbing your wrist at all? No. Nah. One injured at all. I mean, I, I mean, I'm just, you know, and I, and I don't want that to be like the deciding factor, because again, <laughs> I want to always use this analogy. If I go up and batter this young man right now and he don't have injuries, I'm still not going to be charged with an ordinance. I mean, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, what what makes you guys determine? And, and like you said earlier, is, is officer discretion? Officer discretion, but as I said, we also try to work with the victim. See what, now, what you mean by that? Work with the victim in terms like of. If, if, we'll give the um, option, you know, bad uh, local ordinance or okay. city. Uh, I'm sorry, city ordinance or state. Okay. Acceptable to the victim. See now, you know what? Now that that sounds that, that would have been great, Sergeant. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. If that's if that's the way y'all would have worked with the the victim, like in terms of asking us, what what will we rather? She didn't even do that. The detective didn't do that. That would have been great. So that's and that further allows me, let me know. That it was ill intent behind what she really wanted to charge him with. Because she didn't try to work with me. I'm, I'm actually glad I'm you not, said I'm that. I'm not going to speculate as to right. why it was charged the way it was charged. Right. I mean, because we, so. we're all speculating. But I'm just saying from what the sergeant just said, in terms of what you guys are used to doing, in terms of working with the victim, then why? We don't want to speculate, right? Because it's all conjecture. Yes. But why wouldn't the young lady detective ask me if that's how you guys do it? That's I, your guy. Exactly. I mean, we can only we can only speculate. Um, there's also issues with if the state will approve the charge, if we got a warrant for them, things of that nature to take into account too. I'm just speculating. They, obviously, they took the charge. I, I don't know. I, I don't he, he went to court. He went to court. No, so there's a difference between. The state charge and the ordinance charge. Right. Ordinance charges go to branch court, which is traffic right. court. That's right. And okay. Then court across the street would be for a state charge. Right. Okay. So I don't. But nobody but, notified you of a court date. Uh, they did. They did. The, yeah, the, the, that detective told me that he had court in August, and she gave me a specific date and everything. Okay. So she she was like, when the state's attorneys, if they contact you, then that means he's going to fight it. <laughs> you know, and if they don't, then, you know, we had a, like a whole, a whole dialogue about, you know, the, you know, proceedings moving forward. And so. she to, did she tell you at that time that she was uh, filing a local charge, an ordinance violation? No, she didn't say she didn't say anything, which which was leading me to believe that it was going to be, um, a, for lack of a better term, a victim charge and not a city violation. I didn't even know that was a. Uh, <laughs> existed yes. until when I, the state's attorney guy called me the other day and told me so you know i just think that's i think that's real disingenuous man you know because i guarantee it would it wouldn't be if it was the other way around if i battered him that day i, I guarantee i'd be state charged instantaneously so Can you spell your first name for me? Uh, J-A-M-E-S. Forms? Uh, uh, yeah, the sergeant did provide me with that to file a complaint. That's right. I'm going to start looking into this um, now. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor and complete um, the end to do these forms? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. the complaint form. Yeah, yes. yeah. Can, uh, fill out the complaint forms. Okay. And you can return it to the front desk. Okay. Any supervisor can take it. Okay. Or if you don't want to actually physically write this out, right? You can get the complaints on our city website, and you can type it in. And type, it. Okay. No, I'll just I'll just jot it down and just turn it in. Okay. Right, because it'd be the same precise thing that we just talked about right now. Yes. Okay. Now, now let me just ask you. Now, with with all the information that you're taking down, you're going to look into it, right? Yes. So, so. 
what is the complaint form necessary then since I conveyed it to you verbally? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, because we, once we get this complaint, it's assigned a case, uh, a complaint number. Okay. And we have record that you actually filed the complaint. Right. And it goes in our system. Okay. Okay. It's just for documentation purposes. Okay, for sure. Um, and then I will start looking into it. Um, and uh, once I get the complaint, I'll give you a call with okay. what I have. Okay. I will also send you a letter once I get this form back okay. saying that it's been recorded, documented, and investigated. Okay, for okay. sure, for sure. And then if I have any other questions, I will call you. I probably I probably will once I once I read the reports and everything. Okay. I'll probably give you a call in a couple of days to just uh, touch base. Follow up. Right. And then and then how is it pronounced? Is it Bradfield? Bradfield. I'm and then in, in, in the event that you do your investigation and you see that something uh you, you see that the detective i mean this is this is going to be like a, a wild guess and hope wish and pray but if you do see the detective did something in terms of with ill intent and, and as far as charging the guy would that would that be rectified yes be okay rectified. i'm just trying to make sure um i don't have to look into this i don't know the answer to off the top of my head right now i'd have to look it up if we can once the case has been charged in branch court. Right. If it can be possibly recharged in uh, across the street at the county. Court. Okay. Because there's double jeopardy and different yeah. things happen once that case is adjudicated. You can't be. It was, it was, it's all. It was always a limitation as well, too. Yes, we don't know if it was nolly processed. Yes, or, so I don't know. I'd, right. I'd have to look into that, and uh, I'd have to ask one of the state's attorneys if once charges are brought at branch court. If they can be transferred back to, uh, not really no. transferred back, but but upgraded. I'm sorry, recharge is a better term. There you go. Okay, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, like I said, if the case was uh, especially if it was nolly process, you know, you got six months. And yeah, so I will, I will look <coughs> at all that, and I will see where we can go from there. All right, and then I'll just go back in, fill it out, and turn it back in. Officer Fadina, he give me a Xerox copy back, and then we'll be yeah, good yeah, to go. Ask for a copy, and he will, he will give you one. All right, appreciate that. All right. All right, and your badge number, sir? Seven forty nine. Seven forty nine. Appreciate that. All right. All right, thanks, thanks, Sarge. Thank you. All right. All right, GTA family. So we gonna go in here, man. Like I said, man. So they confirmed it, man. To my go on their website and things of that nature, man. And you know they got a uh, they got all these city ordinance batteries and stuff so that just let me know that they 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 actually created that type of charge specifically for when public officials batter the like a regular regular citizens i can tell man i can tell that's what they did so he go he said he gonna look into it man hey we gonna keep on going we ain't gonna never go away man so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned i'm gonna go ahead and fill out this this uh this report i mean this complaint Turn it in, Officer Fadina, and we'll go from there. All uh, right, GTA family. Well, we just filled out the complaint, man. Dropped it off. They gave me a Xerox copy. We're going to wait for uh, Commander Bradfield to get back to us. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the uh, about the uh, IA Officer Bradfield, man. Do you see like he genuinely going to look into it? Or is they giving me the runaround? Because, I mean, I like the, the thing I like about it most, though, is the sergeant. The sergeant said, typically we like to work with the victim and basically let them choose in terms of, uh, in terms of, do you want it to go to state or do you want it to be a city ordinance? Now by the detective taking it upon herself to just try with the city ordinance, like the, like the sergeant said, that one you go to jail for, one you don't. So she tried, she made sure that they do when go to jail, man, which is totally disgusting, man. So we're gonna see. We're gonna keep following through with this one, man. We ain't we ain't going away, never. But everybody that's been rocking with the channel, man, I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. I just want to come down here and do a real quick follow-up. Got got some more huge follow-ups coming up, man. Some huge ones. Some huge ones, man. The next two, the next two, the next one that I'm gonna do, yeah, you guys are real familiar with. But the next, next one gonna blow your mind it's gonna blow your mind so you know uh we're gonna we're gonna uh we definitely gonna do these follow-ups man like i said i appreciate everybody that's been rocking with the channel if you're new here make sure you hit that subscription button make sure i can't force it enough make sure you hit that button 
because you always want to be able to say, I've been rocking with TTA from the beginning, man. And everybody for the super thanks and super chats, man. I love you. So, uh, to the next time, y'all stay tuned.